and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. We're here at IDF, the Intel Developers Forum in San Francisco in California, and I'm talking with Renu Navale, who is the Director of Ecosystem Marketing, Intel Network Builders. Renu, good to see you again. It's been a while since we talked, but uh, here, Martin. here we are in California talking mm -hmm. about network builders. Um, today there was a big announcement at the event, a mega session. Tell us about that to begin with, what was announced? Sure. So this morning um, at a mega session at IDF, uh, Sandra Rivera, who is the Vice President and General Manager of the Network Platforms Group, announced an extension to the Intel Network Builders program. It's called Intel Network Builders Fast Track. What the program is about is um, um, helping our ecosystem go faster towards deployment. Um, you know, they've been asking for support on optimizing faster, integrating better, interoperating together more, um, and the program is going to focus on all these three different um, aspects of um, what the ecosystem requires. Okay, now it's two years ago you launched mm -hmm. uh, network, Intel Network Builders. Mm -hmm. Just remind the audience what that means, why you did it, and what it provides. Sure. So, so two years ago at IDF, so it actually is our second year birthday, um, uh, we launched the Intel Network Builders program. Um, two years ago, the whole industry was a buzz with network function virtualization, software-defined networking, the whole you know network transformation. Will it happen? How will it happen? And we launched the program with about 30 partners um, who were interested in you know kind of working together and collaborating on how to make NFV and SDN a reality. Um, we collaborated together on a variety of you know, proofs of concepts. Um, the ecosystem started to optimize their solutions on various ingredients. Um, there was a lot of you know, even discussion and debate about you know, the, some of the challenges that the whole industry is going through and what we can do to help each other out so that we can move faster towards NFV and SDN. Um, since then, you know, we've had tremendous success. I mean, there are more than 170 partners in the program now. Um, the, the ecosystem landscape is extremely dynamic with a number of you know, startups, disruptors, and innovators. You also have the incumbents innovating, um, you know, in, incumbents innovating as well, like Cisco, Ericsson, HP, Dell, all the, all the big companies innovating as well. Um, the, so the space is you know, ripe for a lot of innovation. So there, you know, there's, but at the same time, there are still challenges to move towards deployment. And the program that we announced today is really focused on, you know, what are those barriers to deployment, and how can we um, hone in or focus on those specific challenges so that we can work with the ecosystem to move faster towards deployment, or rather, fast track to deployment. So enumerate some of the challenges, then, Renu, if you would. What are they? So the, the first challenge is there are a number of point solutions that are optimized, um, but what we also need is um, complete solution stacks that are carrier grade capable, highly reliable, and high performance, which is what our service provider needs. So we're first part, first pillar of the program is to invest further in innovation and having the ecosystem create these complete solutions that are capable of you know, carrier grade, high performance, and high reliability. The second pillar is focused on um, accelerating integration. Um, as the various ecosystem comes together, you know, with a variety of different products and solutions, they still need to get integrated into um, complete solutions for the use cases. So the integration is a big, um, still a big challenge for um, the industry. So we're focusing on you know solution blueprints that can be used by our service providers to help them go faster um, towards deployment. Training is another thing we are really looking at um, as part of this program. Um, our ecosystem wants to be trained on you know, a variety of the Intel ingredients. They want to train the others on their products and solutions. So we're looking at you know, do we, uh, how do we uh, you know, have all of this be part of you know, an Intel Network Builders University, which can provide training to the, the wider ecosystem. And then the third pillar is around interoperability. 
um, once all the solutions come together or they're integrated and innovated upon, you still need to interoperate with each other. You need, the, the service providers are looking for benchmarking and characterization information. They're looking for how do all of these pieces, once they come together, how do they perform? Will they still perform um, you know, to their requirements or their expectations? Because nobody likes dropped calls, nobody likes for it to take you know, five minutes to upload a picture. Um, so performance and reliability is extremely critical, and, and that's why interoperability labs, the benchmarking and characterization um, is extremely important. And as part of this program, we're looking to work with the ecosystem to set up these interop labs, uh, facilitate plug fests and hackathons and customer technology workshops. So the program is really focused on these three critical pillars of you know, further innovation, accelerating integration, and then driving interoperability within the ecosystem. Thank you. Now, Intel Network Partners has been going for two years now. SDN, NFE, and Cloud have been moving equally as fast. What do you mean when you say fast track? In relation to what? What's the slower part that you're leaving behind? And what do the partners get out of the mm -hmm. whole notion of the fast track itself? Sure. So, so two years ago, um, when we started the program, the question around NFE and SDN was, you know, will it happen? Um, you know, how will it happen? And two years later now, there's absolutely no doubt in the mind of either Intel or our ecosystem or our service providers that this will definitely happen. Um, I think it's a question of now um, how, how many deployments can happen each year. Um, we are seeing NFE deployments in 2015, but we want to see more and more happen at a mass scale. In order for these mass scale deployments to happen faster, um, what, what the industry really wants is you know, fully integrated solutions that interoperate, that are benchmarked, that are um, you know, characterized, that the service providers can then just take them um, and then put them into deployments. So we're really looking at reducing the time and the barriers that we have to mass scale deployments. So that is really what we're looking to fast track, um, where we're focusing a lot on the further innovation the integration and interoperability part that will then um, make it uh, move faster towards deployments. I know it's early days yet, this is the last, que last question anyway for this interview, Renu, but what do the partners make of it? Have you had a response to the notion of the fast track? Are they in favor of it? Do they like the idea? They absolutely love it. So just right after the MAGA session when um, Sandra announced the program, I've had um, already like five partners kind of stop by and say, hey, can I be the first candidate to be fast tracked? And how can I you know, collaborate further? Um, we've had you know, an overwhelming response to Network Builders itself. And with fast track, I think I have no doubt that we'll have, um, you know, we'll, we'll, it'll have the same over overwhelming response from our ecosystem. Okay, in that case, Renu Ivali, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Martin. Thanks.